my favorite recording spot, the bathroom, yes. But there's a reason why I'm here, so if you wanna figure out what I'm doing in the bathroom today, then please stay tuned. But before you continue on to the video, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and comment down below. So today I'm going to be doing an unboxing and review of this new product that I'm so very excited to try. I'm not even gonna hold y'all, we just gonna get into the product. Today we're gonna be talking about Natalia's Magic Skincare. And this is the bag, it is so cute. And this is a all natural skincare line, which is amazing because I'm tired of putting all these harsh chemicals on my face that's making my acne worse. So before I actually open up this package and try out the product with you guys, I'm gonna tell you about my skin type. So I have combination to oily skin. So when it's colder outside, my skin is combination. And in the summer, I'm just oily. I also have acne prone skin. I'm gonna go through this skincare journey with you all. I'm gonna just show you a preview of what I'm going through. Don't be scared, because it's scary. It's scary to me. I'm gonna show y'all. All of this is breaking out. I know, I know it looks disgusting. Don't comment up to me because I'ma clap back. No, I'm just kidding, I ain't gonna clap back. But be nice guys, cause we this right here is gonna clear me up. I'm actually just gonna show you all the products and then we're gonna move over to the sink. So first of all, I love the satin bag with the pink writing on that. That is like, y'all know how I am when it comes to packaging. So this definitely got me. The first thing that I pulled out is the business card for the skincare line. I'm just gonna get a close up so y'all can see and read. She shows all the natural products that she offers and she also has her website there with her social medias here and the phone number here. Uh-oh, phone number here. So the other card that I have here is the directions for the face mask that she sent me. This is the green tea detox mask, if it will focus. And I'm very excited to try this one because I've heard a lot of good stuff about green tea detox alone. And I've also been snooping on her Instagram and seeing some amazing results from all of her products. But I've been really interested in trying this green tea detox. And I also have the healing hand soap. And as you can see, it's just a slice of, I believe that this is black soap. But on her website, this is called Healing Hands. Now, if you are interested in purchasing these products, I do have a coupon code that I will link down below and I will put across the screen so you can get some coins off and have clear skin all 2019 and moving forward, period. And that's what I'm hoping because my skin is trash. And we're gonna head over to the sink now, so come on. I do have on eyeliner, eyebrows, and mascara, so I'm gonna go get a makeup wipe and remove that first and then move on to the washing process. I'm using these beat up makeup wipes. <laughs> I got these from, where did I get these from? I got these from Dollar Tree, and this is the Collagen Makeup Cleansing Wipe. <laughs> washing my face on my ring gun. We are gonna start off with the Healing Hand Soap. I'm so excited to try this. I've tried black soap before and I mean, I don't know if it worked for me because I wasn't being consistent, but I'm definitely gonna be consistent with this. So, um, as far as smell, it smells like black soap. So, black soap smell doesn't really bother me. So, I know a lot of people complain and say they don't like the smell, but it doesn't bother me. I'm gonna be using my Vanity Planet Spin Brush along with the Healing Hand Soap to clean my face. So I'm just gonna take my Healing Hand Soap like this and place it directly on the soap. Give it a nice little spin. And so I feel like it's sudsy enough. It feels on my skin. It's very gentle. 
say right now it's not burning but i did pick at some pimples prior to recording this video so it is burning in the areas where i picked my pimples at So now that I got the soap on my face, I don't want to leave this on too long because like I say, black soap can be a little strong so you don't want to let it sit on your skin too long. So I'm going to go ahead and rinse this with some warm water and I'll be right back. Now that I wash the soap off of my face, I don't like to use towels on my face no more because I feel like towels carry a lot of bacteria. I mean, yes, you can switch them out, but I just prefer to let my face air dry after I wash it. So I'm going to let this air dry. It's going to take a minute. Following the face cleanser that I just used I do feel super clean but my face doesn't have that tight feeling and I hate when my skin is like tight after I wash it because I feel like I have to apply moisturizer on top of moisturizer so so far I give the healing hand soap a 5 out of 5 so I know y'all probably wonder like why you got on the glove so I'm gonna be applying the mask with a glove only because I'm trying to keep my hands completely off my face I do wash my hands throughout the day but I just feel like bacteria and all that kind of stuff just gets on your hands regardless so i want to keep it off my face as much as possible in order to clear up what i already have so it says apply the mask to a clean face leave on face eight to ten minutes or until dry rinse with warm water use two to three times per week or as needed i feel like this is the perfect mask where you put the cucumbers over your eyes but i don't got none so it smells clean like i don't know how to explain the smell it smells refreshing to the nose, kind of like it smells a little minty, but it's not minty. Yeah, I'm bad at, at explaining scents, but it does. It smells pretty decent. She's not stingy with her products, so I'm gonna show y'all. My jar is filled all the way to the top. Love that sis. You ain't stingy, so this is gonna last me for a good while. So I'm gonna use this hand and just apply this mask on my entire face. Ooh, look at the consistency. So I just finished removing the mask off my face. I did go ahead and apply my vitamin E oil to my face. Now after the mask, my face just feels really soft. I really love your products. Thanks again for sending me these products. And I'm so glad to be working with you and with the other ladies. And I can't wait to see what you can do for my face. See you guys in my next video. Bye.